morning everyone it is tuesday october 9th and we are about 24 hours from the beginning of hurricane michael There's no school today. My children are driving me insane. For there to be a hurricane coming, it's still awfully bright outside. I'm sure you guys are wondering what the heck I'm doing with my life. So if you watch my most recent vlog, Tim is actually not here. He just left yesterday to go back to work in Texas. And um, now there's a hurricane coming, so that's fun. Somehow I'm always alone for hurricanes. I just, I just don't understand. I'm the hurricane is supposed to hit tomorrow around one there's definitely some freaking out happening so i'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about whether i'm staying for hurricane michael or whether we are packing up to leave at this very moment So I'd actually love to be uh, getting on here to tell you guys that we're going on like a vacation to wherever for a couple days to leave the storm, but that's not what I'm doing. So we're actually going to be staying here on the panhandle of Florida, which is where Michael is headed towards. So we are on the west side of the storm and currently we're not experiencing anything crazy. It is about three o'clock on Tuesday afternoon. There's so many bugs in Florida. We're on the very edge of the cone, if you will. I'm a little worried, but I think that staying is probably what's best for us. If uh, you know me and you've been following my channel, you know that I have two kids, I have three dogs, I have one cat and five chickens. I also have a dad who is on hospice. So we're not currently under any mandatory um, evacuations here where I am, but about 50 miles east of us, they are. So I have friends who have been like told that they have to leave, you know, the police come knocking on your door, all that, and they get told they have to leave. But that has not happened to us just yet. So presently, we're not planning on leaving. So today we got a box from Katie, Andrew, Emmett, Eleanor, and Enzo in Washington. I have started talking to Katie on Instagram and um, her husband does the same thing as Tim, so we kind of bonded over that. Well, she wanted to send my dad a package and us a package to kind of, you know, just something nice to send him. This is what we got. Yummy. A big thank you to Katie and her family for sending this stuff to us from Washington. You know, it's always nice to get packages in the mail and she's been such a sweet friend to me over the past like month or so that we've been talking and I really just appreciate it. So thank you, Katie. My dad thanks you as well. And this is all really cute, thoughtful stuff. So Callie thanks you as well for the box. <laughs> So if you know anything about my current life situation, you'll probably understand why it would be very difficult for me to leave. The hurricane was coming like straight at us. I of course would have to figure out a situation, um, but since landfall is going to happen east of us, um, we're right on the edge, I I'm pretty sure we're gonna be okay. I have a lot of people in my house and it would be very difficult for me to get everyone out of my house and take them somewhere that would be comfortable for all of us. Because Tim is gone, I'm literally the only capable person in my house. I don't wanna say like I'm some sort of expert or something, but I've definitely done this before, so I kinda of know what I need to do and, and how I can prepare and obviously like what the best way to do things are. If a certain type of like natural occurrence, like a blizzard or a hurricane or ice storm or something like that happens where you live, then you, you know, kind of understand what to do when it comes. So that's kind of where I'm at. I've lived on the coast my whole life, so I kind of obviously know when I need to go and when I can 
uh, probably stay. So I'm not putting, you know, my family in any danger. I know what I'm doing. It's going to be windy and it's going to be rainy. It's going to rain. Thanks, Ollie. Hopefully nothing crazy happens, but honestly, I feel like this is the best decision. I just feel like it would be really traumatic to try to move everyone and find a place that could take us all. Like, I just don't think, like, and I don't want to leave my animals and I don't want to leave anybody. So I really think that this is the best option. <laughs> We're just gonna go crazy because there's no school and we're stuck in the house and there's nothing to do. My kids are already going crazy. So that's gonna be fun. I am winning at this hurricane snacks thing. What do you got, Cal? What is this? Hot. Hot. <laughs> it's mac and cheese? And what is this? Oh, chicken. Nuggets? A bite. A bite, yeah. What's Look, that? I got fruits and vegetables, though. Hey, Halloween! Good morning, everyone. It's Wednesday. Hurricane Michael has been upgraded to a Category 4 with the potential to reach a Category 5 before landfall. The news is saying that this is the most devastating storm that will ever hit Northwest Florida. Hurricane Michael is headed towards um, like Panama City, which is around 100 miles from me. That's where like the main portion is going to go. That's where the evacuation orders were. Had there been an evacuation order overnight, I probably would have changed my mind, but storm uh, moved east and it's gonna hit right where they said it is so we're looking at definitely a day with some rain and wind but hopefully nothing too crazy Callie and my dad are awake but Cadence is still sleeping <laughs> so that's how we know it's not that bad yet So it's about noon now. The storm is making landfall. Good job. We have been stuck in the house for, you know, well over 24 hours at this point. But uh, it's actually going pretty well right now. It's definitely gusting. Um, I'd say probably gusts to like the upper 30s, but we have not really had any crazy significant stuff happening. It's actually not even really raining right now, so that's good. The rest of the area, though, has not been as lucky. I did see a couple videos of Panama City Beach that look really, um, you know, sad because there's definitely, like, some, uh, some buildings and stuff that are right on the beach that are not faring well, but fortunately for us, we're good. We are hanging in there. No, we can't go out, Cal. What are you doing? <laughs> Going crazy. Oh, there's a wall there, dude. He looks nervous. Well, on the upside, I don't have to clean up my palm trees. So it's about 1.30, I'm outside. <laughs> it's raining, but not that bad. The storm made landfall around Mexico City Beach, I think is what they were saying. Um, somewhere out there by Panama City and like Apalachicola area, probably about 100 miles or so. We're definitely getting something, obviously, because it's raining and um, it's been windy. As you can see, some of the palm fronds have, you know, come down out of the tree, but that's okay because that really just means I don't have to cut them. I'm outside with the dogs right now. It's really not that bad. It's not overly windy. It's not raining super hard. It's moving through the area rather quickly, uh, which is very nice because, you know, hopefully it won't do as much damage. The Panama City area is looking rough. I'm about to go inside because I'm sick of being rained on. About my 1.30 update. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm outside again. I do want to point out that I'm wearing this really uh, cozy little sweatshirt here that I got from Shop I Love Jewelry. I have a coupon code for you guys if you're interested. They send me lots of cute stuff that has my monogram on it. Anyway, the storm is over. 
It is past us. We are alive. We have made it through. I'm about to show you the extent of our damage here. We've got a branch, palm frond, branch, branch, another branch, palm frond, palm frond. My cat tipped over, branch. Still a little windy out here. So really the majority of our issues at our house currently are just um, down tree limbs, but that is, you know, really, really good considering that Panama City and Mexico Beach and like everywhere else on the panhandle, like east of where we live has been pretty devastated. I mean, there's quite a lot of places that are really, uh, really rough. All right guys, so that is about the extent of our Hurricane Michael experience here. We have been extremely fortunate where we are that everything went just fine, that everything was very calm, and that we did not even lose power. Panama City, and everything surrounding Panama City and East is really feeling it and so my heart is with them for sure. So with that being said, I'm going to end this vlog. The hurricane is basically over. I need to check with some of my friends who live east of here to make sure that their houses are okay. Several of them evacuated, so I want to check in with them. I will leave some links down below if you guys are interested in helping out uh, those people who were affected here on the Gulf Coast. So if you have even five dollars or something to give to any of the organizations listed below That would be really really helpful So I will leave that down below and I hope that you guys will check those out or at least share them There are parts of the Gulf Coast have definitely had some crazy damage So I'm gonna end this with showing you guys a little bit of some of the crazy videos that I've seen If you've been watching the news, you may have seen some of these, but I just am gonna show you guys a couple clips Thank you guys for watching and my heart is with everybody over on the panhandle that has been terribly affected by this and I hope that I will be able to help in any way that I can. If this is your first time to my channel, please consider subscribing. Give my video a like and comment down below and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!